Can inflammation be reduced by stimulating the vagus nerve? The vagus nerve is a nerve that wanders throughout the human body, innervating the major organs, with 80 to 90% of the nerve fibers from the body up to the brain. So you have a huge amount of communication from the body up to the brain. And back in 1998, a neuroscientist by the name of Kevin Tracy was doing an experiment with a rat. And as he was doing the experiment, his colleagues were outside in the corridor during the test, betting that the experiment wouldn't work. His experiment showed that by stimulating the vagus nerve, that it could stop inflammation in its tracks. He later did experiments on humans and by electronically stimulating the vagus nerve, he showed that as you stimulated the vagus nerve, which secretes the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, it blocks the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines. These are the chemical messengers that trigger inflammation. And with that, he showed that rheumatoid arthritis can be improved by stimulating the vagus nerve. In terms of breathing and other simple techniques, there are ways to stimulate the vagus nerve. The first thing that I would say is for resilience and for heart rate variability, which is an objective measurement of how well the vagus nerve is working. So those of you who are monitoring your heart rate variability, which will give you feedback of your readiness, how do you help to improve your vagal tone? How do you help to improve and to stimulate the vagus nerve? The first thing that I would say is, look at your sleep. If you have obstructive sleep apnea, heavy snoring or insomnia, that's going to put you into an increased stress response. And that's going to reduce vagal tone, reduce readiness and reduce heart rate variability. During wakefulness, by breathing light, you have to stimulate the vagus nerve. By softening the speed of your breathing, by simply slowing down the speed of the air coming into your nose and by having a really relaxed and slow gentle breath out to the point of a tolerable air hunger, the increased carbon dioxide in the blood will help to stimulate the vagus nerve. By slowing down your breathing to between 4.5 and 6.5 breaths per minute. So for example, breathing in very softly for five seconds, breathing out very softly for five seconds, that helps to stimulate the vagus nerve. And also when you breed with good recruitment of the diaphragm, it helps to stimulate the vagus nerve. So the more that you can bring breathing into your everyday life, it may be helpful in reducing the risk of inflammation. It can be helpful as you stimulate the vagus nerve to secrete the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. It helps block pro-inflammatory cytokines to reduce the risk of inflammation.